So in this video we're going to look at one more work equals rate times time uh, example where we're, we have a faucet and a drain working together to try to either overflow a sink or drain a sink. So here's the information we're given. The cold water faucet can fill a sink, so that's one sink, can fill a sink in two minutes. The drain can empty a sink so empty a sink in three minutes and it says if the faucet were left on and the drain was was left open how long would it take to fill the sink so there's a tension between the faucet and the drain the faucet is trying to fill the sink the drain is trying to empty the sink in this case what we see is that the faucet because it can fill the sink in two minutes and the drain takes three minutes to empty it what we can see is that because the faucet is faster than the drain, we expect the sink to fill and overflow. So if they work together, the faucet trying to fill the sink and the drain trying to empty it, eventually the sink is going to overflow and the work that gets done will be one sink is filled. Right. So we're going to look at, and this is a work equals rate times time problem, the work that gets done is the filling of a single sink. And we're being asked how long it will take to fill the sink. So the time it takes working together to fill the sink is the unknown. The rate at which the faucet and drain work together will be one sink filled, right, work done, divided by t and t is being measured in minutes in this problem so it'll be one sink filled in t minutes that will be the rate at which the faucet and drain work together or just one over t with the understanding that because we have work equals rate times time that means if we divide both sides by r or sorry by t divide both sides by t then your rate or your speed is always work done divided by time it takes to do the work. In this case, the time happens to be unknown, so the rate together is one over t. Now we've got the faucet. The faucet does stuff. The faucet tries to fill the sink, and we're told that the work it can get done is it can fill one sink, and the time that it takes to fill that sink is two minutes. So the rate of the faucet is going to equal one sink every two minutes, or without the units, just a half. And then the drain uh, empties the sink. So the drain can empty a full sink in three minutes. So the work that the drain gets done is negative one sink, negative one because it drains the sink. Instead of one sink being full, negative one sink uh, will be full means the sink is empty so it gets the opposite done it drains it drains it so that it's empty so the work it gets done is negative one sink by draining the sink instead of filling it the time it takes it to do that is two minutes and the rate of the drain is just equal the amount of work it gets done which is negative one sink in the amount of that was in three minutes. It takes three minutes to drain the sink, so time should be three minutes. So we get negative one sink, or a sink is drained in three minutes, or without the units, just negative one third. And then what we remember from the previous two videos is that the rate at which things work together is just equal to the sum of their rates, as long as the rates are constant and not impacted by each other. So the rate at which they work together will equal the rate of the faucet plus the rate of the drain. But the rate that they work together is just one over t, one sink filled in per t minutes. The rate of the faucet is one sink filled per two minutes plus the rate of the drain is negative one third because we have a, uh, the sink is emptied every three minutes. And then we just need to solve this for t. So one way that we could solve it for t, there's more than one way to do this, but we could just multiply by 6t. A common denominator for each of the three fractions would be 6t. 3 times 2 times t is 6t. So multiply both sides by 6t. 
and then do some canceling. T divided by T is 1, so 6 times 1 times 1 is 6. And then we get 6t times a half, so a half of 6t will be 3t, that's a half, minus a third of 6t will be minus 2t. So we get 6 equals 3 minus 2 is 1, and we see that it will take 6 minutes working together to, to fill the sink. So it will take 6 minutes to fill the sink if the faucet, that's a bad spelling of faucet, if the faucet and drain are left on and open respectively.